Alexa. Yes. Tell me a joke. What did the man say when he saw three parrots in the middle of ten crows? Kuch kuch tota hai. Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show you a quick setup of Amazon Alexa on Raspberry Pi Model 3A+. So, let's get started. First, go to developer.amazon.com and create a new account. When you finish with account creation, log into your account. After login, from dashboard, select Alexa. Then, from right side menu, select Alexa Voice Services. From this dashboard, click Manage your products. Now, here we are going to add our Raspberry Pi having Alexa service on it. So, let's jump into the Pi configuration. Now, on Raspberry Pi, you have to install official Raspberry Pi OS. Then, the important step here is set a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi. So, that static IP address must be your local IP address. So, uh, there are two important things where you have to set the static IP address. Those files are on these paths. You have to edit the, these two files for static IP address configuration. In description, you will find what contents you need to modify. After setting the static IP address for your Pi, reboot your Raspberry Pi and verify whether it is connected to network or not. When it is successful, your Raspberry Pi is ready for Amazon Alexa setup. Now, the service we are going to install on Raspberry Pi having some facilities on GPIO 24 and GPIO 25 for LED. So, you can attach your any favorite color LED on these GPIOs so that uh, you, can, uh, you can get the facility of lights, blinking lights when you talk to Alexa. So, on screen, you can see how I attached two LEDs on Raspberry Pi GPIO. Now come back to Alexa voice service dashboard and click on add new product. Now you have to fill this information. So give a product name which should be unique in your case. Now it uh, also give a product ID. Now select the product type as device with Alexa built in facility. So this is the product where you have a touch screen or speaker, headset, television set options. So Raspberry Pi is having this kind of facility. So select this option. Fill other options like this. Check mark hands free option so that you can interact with Alexa using your voice without any button. But you have to be very close to your mic so that it can detect your voice. Next. Click all the things no because we are not going to sell or distribute this product commercially. Then we are not dealing with any business. Then we are not having any AWS Core IoT account attached to this device. So click all these things as no. And at last, this is not a children based product so that you can also click on this no. Now next. Next step is create a security profile. Now here you have to create a security profile so that you can interact with Amazon Alexa voice service. So give the proper name for your security profile and a security profile description. In my case, I kept both the part similar. Now in security profile, create allowed origins. So these are the IP address URL of your Raspberry Pi. So look on the screen and add all these entries like this. In my case, I have given the IP address for my Raspberry Pi is 192.168.1.100. So add your IP address here. Also, don't forget to add a local host as your host name. So add these two URL also. Next, in again security profile, you have to configure allowed return URLs. So these URLs are also similar to URLs which we created before but you only need to add a slash code in front of it. So simply add these all entries in your written URLs. 
by adding a slash code in front of it. When you submit all these entries, you will get entry like this and it will generate some IDs for you. And those IDs are required at the end of setup on Raspberry Pi. So those IDs are security profile ID, client ID and a secret ID. So be careful with these IDs. Do not share with anyone. Now log into your Raspberry Pi account and download a Alexa Pi from GitHub. Put this clone or zip file into opt directory. If it is a zip file, you can extract it. Now on the path of Alexa Pi SRC script, you have a setup file. So this is a shell script that you have to execute. So with this command sudo dot slash setup dot sh execute the setup. Now follow the installation steps. First, select option one for Alexa to run on boot. Next important step is enter your device type ID. So if you remember, you have given in dashboard the name. So give exact name here. Then also enter a security profile description. Give same name which you have filled in Alexa dashboard. Then give the security profile ID here. Then client ID and secret ID. So it must be a similar what you see on dashboard. Then press enter so that it will complete the verification process. After the verification, you will get a URL so that you can complete the authentication process with Amazon Alexa voice services. When you enter a URL on your browser from local, then after the successful login and authentication process, you should get this successful message so that your Alexa will start working. Now let's have one more demo. Alexa? Yes. Share one more joke. How can you tell if your tea is Indian? It's a cutting chai. If you want to know more, leave a comment. Thanks for view.